Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, you can go to bookmap.com. Uh, there is a free 14-day trial, and uh, not only does it give you access to the platform, uh, but uh, our resources as well. Okay, one of them being the advanced order flow uh, webinars that uh, start in about half hour uh, at 11 Eastern. Uh, there are other resources as well. There's an educational course. Uh, there are some documents uh, and um, uh, quite a few videos as well. So uh, yeah, anyway, uh, that's what you'll get with the free trial. So we're providing the education uh, as well as the platform. Okay, so uh, how to learn uh, order flow and uh, how to start to integrate that within your trading. Okay, uh, let's go to bookmap.com and take a look here. Uh, we'll scroll up to the home page and uh, we'll just click on explore here. Uh, there's an intro video. So uh, for those of you who are new here, uh, and there's actually quite quite a few of you in the room here, uh, welcome uh, to the to the webinar. Uh, and um, and then we'll just scroll down here. Um, you know, there's an about book map. Uh, the, the new uh, uh, webinar button uh, is here. So uh, I'm going to update this as soon as uh, I'm finished with uh, both webinars today. So if you're interested in registering for the um, for the next uh, next week's uh, webinars at 10:30 Eastern time, uh, you can do it here. Uh, or uh, if you're in trial, uh, you should uh, you should receive uh, a link um, that uh, in an email. Okay. Uh, let's see here a little bit more information about the platform, the benefits. Uh, there's the uh, link to try here. Uh, let's continue on down. Uh, there's Bookmap for equities. Okay, not just futures. Uh, we go and uh, uh, access uh, this Nasdaq Total View here uh, connection. And uh, it's, an, it's an excellent connection for these reasons over here, uh, if you want to read that. Um, and um, connectivity, okay, so this is important uh, to understand uh, uh, how to connect Bookmap to the live markets. Uh, Bookmap is a platform, we're not a data provider, okay? So uh, you will need one of these data providers or uh, through the brokerage like S5 here. And uh, we also connect via just like any other platform like Ninja, how Ninja connects to the markets, well, we're a platform as well, okay? However, we also uh, connect via the API in Ninja, uh, in the Ninja Cater. So for those of you who uh, trade in Ninja, you can connect Bookmap directly to Ninja, okay? The API is the same here for uh, TT X Trader Pro, uh, as well as the interactive brokers. Uh, all three of these are for the API of that uh, that platform. Okay, the rest are just uh, uh, raw data feeds that go directly into the platform. All right, CQG, Rhythmic, Gain, IQ Feed, Transact, uh, and uh, I think that's about it. Uh, and then the Dev Experts, of course, uh, as well. Now this is for the uh, for the Nasdaq Total View equities here. Okay, pricing. This is where you can find information about the trial uh, and and pricing. Uh, there's one version of Bookmap. Bookmap Basic is 49 per month, uh, and uh, these are billed quarterly. And then there's the Advanced, and then there's Quant version. Uh, well, they're not different versions; they're just different features that are uh, that uh, you uh, extend uh, your subscription uh, into those features. So, for example, the Advanced. Okay, what you get with the Advanced is the ability to trade right from the Bookmap chart. Okay, this is a really distinct advantage. Uh, so the, uh, the, the reason why is because we have the, uh, the, the liquidity heat map there. So if you're, uh, you want to keep your um, order from, uh, uh, let's say your stop order from getting hit, well, you can hide it behind high liquidity. Okay, there's also these other add-on indicators here uh, that we have developed. They're proprietary and they look for uh, specific uh, phenomena uh, in the limit order book and volume uh, in the order flow. Okay, and then there's quant uh, version for connecting your own data or your own uh, proprietary indicators, etc. Okay, so you can reach out to us here. Uh, let's see, you can follow us here on Twitter 
uh, get the most up-to-date information, uh, or you can subscribe to our YouTube page here, as you can see. Um, for those of you who are new, I would recommend uh, watching some of these intro videos just to get a feel for what Bookmap is. Uh, then uh, next is some of the features and components. Go through the basics here. This is what we're gonna go through today, is the basics. And then uh, some of the other features that you see here. Uh, this will answer a lot of your questions. Uh, the order flow video snippets. Uh, after that, um, go through a few of these. Now, this is what we go through in the advanced webinars. Okay? Starting to understand context of, for example, volume and liquidity in a trend. Okay, Absorption and exhaustion understanding a flip of the order book, uh, understanding a rollover um, uh, of orders and uh, a shift in, in the flow, uh, et cetera. I mean, there's all sorts of uh, phenomena that we uncover here. These are very short videos for the most part. Um, they're usually about uh, two to three minutes, but um, uh, some of these uh, recent ones are a little bit longer now. Uh, you can watch some of these about some of the professional traders. Uh, and then there is the selected webinars. So if you want to get a taste of what the advanced webinars are like, you can watch some of these examples here, uh, as well as some of the uh, platform details uh, webinars you can see here, okay? All right, let's jump into Bookmap now. We were looking at the, we've been looking at the NASDAQ. Yesterday was um, pretty, uh, pretty tricky day in the NASDAQ and it was due to a lot of earnings coming out uh, afterwards, and we can see the spike here uh, at the uh, after hours, uh, 4:30 or after after four, basically. Uh, nice move to the upside and and nice continuation to the upside. Okay, so uh, there is our follow through. Uh, it's actually kind of what um, kind of what I was looking for. Uh, but um, uh, anyway, let's take a look at Bookmap and uh, let's go through the uh, uh, the order flow here. Uh, and um, let's look at the, uh, we'll go to the NASDAQ here, okay, and let's zoom out. Okay, now, for those of you looking at Bookmap for the first time, this is going to look rather confusing, right? So what is all of this? Uh, what's the data here? Oh, what is Bookmap showing me? It looks really complex. It's, re it's really not. Uh, in fact, uh, the concept of candlesticks is a lot more complex than what Bookmap is showing you here. Uh, it's um, uh, no, it's not a derivative of time or price or volume. We're actually just showing you time, price, and volume, as well as the auction. Okay, where are people lined up in the auction? All right, where do they want to trade? Uh, already at, at this view here, I'm, I'm seeing all sorts of interesting things. We can see this is where there are high liquidity here in the heat map, this this uh, heat map here. Anyway, I, I'm going to go through all of that in just a minute here. Um, and we're going to strip off all these layers of data, and then we're going to get into some of the details um, and, and show you exactly what Bookmap is showing you. Because um, it's, it's really simple stuff. It, we're showing you the historical best bid and offer, the traded volume on the historical best bid and offer, and where they're bidding and offering. And that's really the basics there. Uh, but um, we also have uh, all sorts of different feature and functionality here, features and functionality. You can see there is a indicator subchart here. We're gonna close that up. Uh, we have all these data columns over here uh, and uh, I will get into some of that here. We're gonna look at the current order book column. Uh, and um, yeah, that about uh, that about covers it. We'll, um, we're gonna start off here by starting with a candlestick chart because this is what we're all familiar with. And I'm gonna strip off all of this other data. I just wanna, I'm gonna quickly go through this uh, for you, okay? So we know this is open, high, low, close of a specific time period. In this case, it's a five minute period, okay? There's so much transparency here that is just completely lost uh, that um, uh, doesn't give us insight to, to price movement. Okay, and uh, and this is this is a problem with the candlestick chart. We're really just kind of um, uh, make making it up, guessing uh, at uh, at some of these moves here. We don't know where the volume took place. Uh, we don't know what kind of volume it was. Uh, we don't know um, uh, uh, the uh, the size uh, of that volume. So these are all questions that are answered in Bookmap. Okay, we don't know where they're bidding and offering. 
okay? This is also answered in book map. Now, another problem here with not only candlestick charts, but footprint charts that show the volume, show exactly where volume traded on a candlestick. Uh, uh, however, there's a, there's a problem with, uh, with both of those. The issue is that it just aggregates, okay? It will aggregate within this time period. Uh, or maybe it's a bar rotation, doesn't matter. It's still aggregating in a, a bar, okay? And then something will occur, like a time change, and then a new bar will uh, uh, be presented, okay? Now, Bookmap overcomes that by, by showing you the historical best bid and offer, okay? And what this allows you to do is now you can understand microstructure within what, what occurred within that, that five minute period or uh, you know whatever period it is that uh, you're accessing. So for example, um, we're seeing some pretty pretty nice uh, stuff al already here, okay? Um, like this, this candlestick up here, this, this, this could be very, very easily um, construed a, as a cell. We're outside of a range, uh, you know, we see the wick here, so there's selling pressure up here, you know, that, that's what it looks like, right? Well, it, uh, just with the sub, um, I'm sorry, just with the historical best bid and offer, uh, we're, she, we're seeing a much different picture here, all right? So uh, let, me, uh, let me explain, all right? So let's zoom in here. Okay, look at the um, microstructure. Uh, we're seeing that uh, uh, some sideways uh, action here. Uh, we, we start to note uh, in, in this area here, we have kind of like a double bottom or a triple bottom, I, would, I should say. Uh, and, then, um, uh, and then we move up and we move above this range here. And, uh, and then we actually have enough buying pressure to move above this range here from the, the uh, overnight session here or this small um, uh, range uh, before the uh, the cash open at 9:30. Okay, we're going to see a lot of buying in this area here, right? Uh, and um, just in the uh, microstructure, okay, this candlestick may, it could be construed as being bearish. Well, what we're seeing instead here, very clearly in Bookmap, uh, with this historical best bid and offer, is the move up and a pullback to where we uh, we broke out from right here. Okay, this is a retest. Okay, this is a, a, a bullish, uh, this is a, a great entry right here. Uh, and uh, this is one of the setups that we look at uh, in the advanced uh, order flow analysis, okay, in, the, in those webinars. All right, so uh, understanding this microstructure is key. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, for example, uh, you could uh, uh, look at some of this and um, uh, look for uh, uh, entering the trade within this area. Uh, placing your stop just directly below, uh, and then uh, looking for the uh, uh, target um, uh, and, and targets we're going to go through. Like uh, Bookmap nicely shows the targets, okay? Because we're looking at liquidity. The market needs liquidity is to trade. It's going to reach those areas of liquidity. So let's turn on the the volume dots, okay? And uh, boy, interesting stuff. Again, this is similar to yesterday. Um, it's a little little different than uh, what we usually usually see. Usually we see down in this area here um, more aggressive selling. Okay, as we're you know coming down into this area, we see we see uh, more red, uh, more selling uh, in this area, and then what we'll start to see is a shift in the order flow. I'm seeing that shift already uh, over here. We're seeing a lot of buying starting to come in. Okay, and then we're getting uh, very little selling down here. Okay, uh, compared to this nice cluster of buying here, look at the shift uh, here where we've seen a nice cluster of volume trading at uh, uh, this uh, uh, top of the range here. Okay, now if we were bearish, we'd be seeing more trading activity down low, uh, down lower here, and then we'd see price discovery to the downside. So we're already seeing a shift here. Okay, we get a couple more retests here, and then the buying uh, uh, resumes right here. Okay, and it gets quite bullish, uh, and then uh, and then you can see this move, uh, uh, bullish move to the upside. Okay, here's our pullback. There's a little bit of selling here, uh, no no question, uh, but the uh, the buyers uh, uh, come right back in uh, and take it, and we continue up to the upside. Okay, so what is this volume? What what is this pie display? Uh, let me explain. All right, so um, we'll zoom into this area very quickly 
uh, and, uh, and and here's this price action, okay? Just looking at this right here, this is something we cover in the educational course, uh, and um, uh, it's something that, um, this is a really nice sweep of the book, um, something we cover in the educational course, uh, as well as uh, in the advanced order flow uh, webinars. This is how price moves to new levels for the most part, okay? Someone, uh, an aggressive buyer comes in and they, they just take all the liquidity at each price level. Um, they'll, they'll just hit the buy button and um, they'll, they'll take all liquidity at one price level. It, uh, they're, they're still buyers though, so they're, uh, they, they sweep that area, they go to the next area, they take all of, all of the uh, limit sell orders of that area, they move to the next, etc. Okay, so this is a lot of buying. All right, uh, and um, uh, pretty pretty aggressive uh, trading right there. Um, so this is aggressive buying, market buys. That's what the green dots show. Okay, so just to simplify this, we'll zoom into this area here, uh, and I uh, just want to show a very very simple example. All right, here's a green dot here, uh, and we see a couple red dots. This is your historical best bid and offer. Okay. The green dot is an aggressive market buy that took place on the historical uh, or took place on the best offer. This is a red dot. It's a market sell that took place on the best bid and took liquidity off of the best bid. Okay. Now, as we zoom out, I mean, we can zoom in and, and really get into the details here and look at, uh, you know, we're at just millisecond level here. We can go all the way down to billions of seconds and continue to zoom in. It's basically unlimited zoom, okay? So, for example, just that one small example, uh, I, I zoom in here, uh, and then uh, that that dot broke uh, open uh, this trading activity. We're actually looking at three different market uh, events here, okay? Someone hit the, or there's three different um, orders uh, that took place. Okay, now we can very clearly in, uh, uh, see them here. We're at microsecond level. We can continue to zoom, uh, but uh, you get the point here. So uh, now as I zoom back out, you know, because we don't really trade off of those levels, as we zoom back out, note how Bookmap is consolidating uh, all of that or aggregating all of that data into one dot, okay? All of the information is here. We can use this uh, data tip tool. Uh, and you can see this for volume of five, okay? But if I zoom in, you see this is volume of two, two, and one, okay? So all of the data is still there, but if I zoom back out, it's just been uh, uh, aggregated visually because we want to understand what happened uh, on the higher time frame. okay? So as I zoom out, note this pie display. It just, it just signifies here that uh, the majority of this volume that traded as you know, because we've compressed all those trades now uh, down in the time frame. So there's a lot of trading activity here. Most of it was buying. I mean, the vast majority of it is, is aggressive buying, okay? But there was some selling in here too, all right? So that's what the book map is displaying in the volume, uh, and volume is uh, really uh, important to understand uh, in the order flow. Okay, so uh, just uh, for example, uh, this this small example with that candlestick uh, is showing you exactly why this is important. Okay, uh, you would you would get the wrong idea here with this candlestick. You wouldn't you wouldn't understand that uh, uh, you know that's a, a real this very very opaque data here. Uh, you know you could very easily think that uh, well I'm going to return back into the middle of the range, trap all these guys from the outside, but just look at this aggressive buying here, and and we saw it from the beginning, you know, uh, down down in this area. Actually, we saw it over here to begin with, uh, and then nice cluster here. Uh, but um, oh, one more, two more retests here, and then finally uh, we get the uh, uh, the buyers really really step in and, and lift the offer. Okay, they sweep the book, sweep it here. They sweep it here, uh, and then look at the pullbacks, right? Okay, we sweep up, but we test to where we broke from one, two, three times here, continue up, retest again, okay? All right, so um, understanding the volume is uh, is pretty critical here, uh, but uh, we want to also understand where they're bidding and offering, okay? And I'm really curious. I want to see that uh, we're going to hit uh, pretty high liquidity, I imagine, in this area because we can see these large transactions. So let's just turn on the uh, heat map, and there we go. And there's our high liquidity. Okay. So 
why did we come up and trade into these areas? Why did why did price stop up here? Well, here's your answer. Okay, this is where there was a, a lot of limit orders on the uh, on the offer, and we trade into them. Okay, and this area was absorbed by the uh, by the sellers. Okay, and we kind of go sideways for a bit. Uh, and then uh, find some buyers down here at this higher area and come back up and uh, look for more liquidity here uh, on the offer. Okay. So these areas, as you can see, we, we traded through these areas here. Okay. The buyers just overpowered the uh, the sellers. Uh, but uh, it kind of slowed the, um, the move down up at this point. Okay. And we find a little bit less uh, buyers. So we get a, we get a rotation. Uh, but we get the extension here again uh, with more buying. So we're really understanding the market here, uh, understanding the details of, of really why price moves, why it moves to new levels, uh, why um, uh, where the volume, or how the volume uh, makes a, a, a real um, uh, a difference or it gives us a lot of insight uh, to uh, the price movement and um, Etc. So let, let's uh, let's go to that current market and let me show you uh, how this heat map is generated and uh, how this gives you that advantage. Okay, because when, a lot of us look at a dome uh, when we when we place our trades. Why do we do that? Well, we want to understand the liquidity. We want to understand high areas of uh, liquidity where the buyers and sellers are lined up. Very quickly, I can see at uh, 129 contracts here and 148 here at 66 and a half. Okay, that's the highest area in the current book right now. All right, so, or at least in this view. So we know there's buyers down at this at these areas and they're interested. Okay, so uh, that's uh, liquidity. Now, if these guys pull, well, then that data is lost. And, uh, you, you know, this is where it, the, the dome is good for that current view, but it's a problem for trying to remember uh, this area, other areas around it, are they adding, are they pulling, are they starting to front run these areas, uh, how are they behaving? All of this information here in the dome is recorded in this window here, which is your best bid and offer and your last traded volume here. Okay, It's recorded just graphically with this heat map. So you can see uh, the heat map is uh, uh, bright at areas of high liquidity. Okay, look at, the, look at 240 contracts just came in up here. All right, so uh, there it is. Uh, and um, uh, perhaps uh, if the buyers are, are still engaged in this market, well, there's your there's their target, okay? Um, and it's uh, at the top of this range, okay? No, no surprises there. Uh, responsive sellers are gonna be up in the top of the range. Uh, anyway, uh, the um, understanding that current view is important. Understanding the are using that view uh, is difficult. So how Bookmap solves that issue is by uh, showing you uh, the historical view of it. Okay, so we're uh, we're looking at um, the uh, uh, these striations here. Okay, in this uh, uh, at this uh, 67 and a quarter level. Well, this is liquidity that was added and pulled. All right, uh, and um, uh, we can use that data tip tool again to demo this. Uh, you can see that uh, we get the date, the time, what was on the bid here at this price level. And you can see that uh, 120, 130, and then some of the darker areas, we go back down to 113, et cetera. Okay? This is adding and pulling of liquidity, just like we see when these numbers change. It's where this is the advantage is it's recorded historically. Okay? We take this data here from the current order book and project it onto the chart historically. Okay, and that's where you get the advantage here in Bookmap. All right, so when we zoom out, uh, this is what I was uh, uh, talking about earlier. Uh, high liquidity here uh, at the top of this range. We trade into it, trade through it, retest back to it, and continue on up and target other areas of high liquidity. Okay, look at all of the uh, aggressive buyers here in the uh, limit order book between the 65 and 68 level. Okay, they want to be buyers here now too. Okay, this is pretty bullish. Okay, They're, they want to be buyers at a higher level. Now, it doesn't mean that, um, uh, you know, it's going to bounce and ping pong ball, you know, between uh, the uh, areas of high liquidity. It's not an indicator like that. Uh, it is the context of the buyers and sellers that we want to understand. OK, 
Okay, we want to understand their intent to trade at these uh, at these levels, and that's the uh, that's the key here. Uh, and um, for those of you who uh, trade uh, volume profile, well, it's the same thing. You want to understand the context of the buyers or sellers. We're looking at you know statistical averages uh, in a uh, uh, in a bell bell shaped curve, uh, or um, you know av the um, uh, deviation of that with a uh, value area high, value area low, etc. That's the majority of the volume. Okay, it's the same here. What we're doing in the in the liquidity heat map, we're understanding the majority of the buyers and sellers. So look at how look at how the sellers are taking these guys on at 68. Okay, we're trading into that high liquidity right now. Okay, how are they starting to behave here at 67 and a quarter? Well, they're they're getting a little bit. Um, I mean, they're still here in the market, but. Uh, 126 contracts, so they're they're still staying here, right? It looks like a looks like they've been. No, they're still staying here. Now they're starting to add though, but they're adding as price goes away. So now they're starting to pull. So we may see these guys pull. Okay. So do I do I trust these buyers now? No, I don't. Okay, because they're kind of they're they're showing uh, uh, their intent to trade is uh, kind of um, not not so clear. Right. So now we can kind of discount that and just say, well, you know, uh, I'm looking for other areas of high liquidity, maybe down below. OK. Do I see anyone down below? Not not really at this point. OK. I guess maybe down here at 64 uh, and, um, uh, you know, also a tick down below here at uh, 67 even. OK. So uh, two, now it's kind of, you know, two areas here uh, of high liquidity. And. Um, uh, you know, so we're trying to gauge um, uh, the auction, right? Look how these guys, this target that was up here before, it, they pulled their high liquidity as well, right? In fact, I am very, very curious. I mean, look at what we're starting to now understand. Uh, when uh, these guys pulled their liquidity here, uh, as soon as uh, uh, this um, a high liquidity at 68 was filled. Okay, so uh, are these are these two players linked? Uh, is it the same player? Uh, I, I would assume so. Uh, that uh, uh, there's something uncanny about the um, uh, them getting filled at this area, and then they they're they're pulling right at the same time. Okay, We're, you're going to see all sorts of algorithmic activity and understand this auction at another level here. Uh, by uh, starting to understand just the behavior of these of these uh, players, and you know, look, I mean, we're not just to understand that. We, you know, we're looking at uh, uh, let's see, between here and here, this is 10 minutes over 10 minutes of data. Okay, almost 12 minutes of data here that we're looking at. So you know, this is you know not uh, we're not looking at uh, milliseconds here. Uh, we're still understanding uh, the intent of these traders here. All right. All right, guys. Well, that's uh, that's all I've got for you today. Um, you know, if uh, uh, you're uh, you're interested in uh, in giving Bookmap a try, uh, you can uh, uh, go to uh, to Bookmap.com uh, and uh, and sign up for that trial. Okay. So now now we're uh, we're trading through that area, right? Okay. So uh, let's take a, let's take a quick look at that. I'm just uh, so curious about it. Um, yeah. So it looks like. Uh, uh, looking for a retest to this area here, and let's see if the sellers re-engage. All right. Okay. Or is this area going to reject, and we come back into the middle of the range? Okay. We're getting our answer right now on that one. Okay. We're back in, and we find buyers here. Okay. So maybe we can test the other side of this range now, uh, and see if uh, see if the buyers step back in. Okay. No, not yet. Not yet. Okay, sellers starting to come in here uh, at uh, 67 and a half or three quarters. All right, guys. Anyway, um, we will uh, catch up with you next week. Or if you're uh, signed up uh, for the uh, advanced um, uh, market analysis, uh, we'll see you in just a minute.